Hello, welcome to Edirol Orchestral Tutorial. Uh, we begin the tutorial here. We'll open the orchestral plugin. Now we open the media plugin here. Okay. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, I will show you how to assign all the parameters of the Edirol Orchestral with the Media Out plugin. And uh, this tutorial is for those who don't uh, have rotary encoders or sliders on their MIDI controller keyboard. So for them, this tutorial will be very useful. So uh in this tutorial i'll show you how okay i'll take a pan a reverb and the portamento switch so let's uh, begin with pan okay i click right click here remember the controller number 10 and i click on the media out plugin and i click configure okay now this I make it as 10. I write the name. N. Short name. N. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. You can watch it here. As I move the knob on my media plugin. So that parameter is assigned. Now let's uh, assign this parameter. Okay, the controller number is 91. I'll make it 91 here. I'll write the name reverb. Short name R E V. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is done. I take the portamento switch. I right click. The controller number is 65. So it is 65. All right, P O R T E N. Now for this uh, on off switch the values minimum and maximum values are slight different we will take your 63 and 64 uh, please don't ask me why I have taken 63 and 64 because I have tried all the other combination and it only works uh, this way by keeping it 63 and 64. You will now see, okay, I just uh, move my arrow up and down and here the light will flash on and off. So as I move up, okay, it is on, it is off. So this is how that switch work, that's how uh, those values work. Now uh, let's record some few notes here. Okay, I'll increase the volume first of all. Let's increase the volume. Okay.
I have played some random notes there. Now uh, let's record the pan automation. Okay, so it's done now. Now let's uh, record the reverb parameter. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we'll uh, record the portam into effect. For that, uh, we'll keep the portal into time slightly. Okay, we'll increase the timing. Let's keep it 26. Okay, we'll now record the this parameter. Okay, now if you want to edit the portamento effect or any of the parameters here, you'll have to go in the piano roll view and click this small arrow here. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to edit the portamento effect because uh, here the editing is slightly different. Okay, so now let's check out here. Suppose if I want to keep the portamento effect on from this note till this note, okay. By clicking it on the in the upper area and in the lower area, we turn it on and off. So I'll click the in the lower area here. So now it has turned off. So from this note till this note, that effect will be on. Now, if I want to put it on, on from this note, I'll click in the upper area here. See? And then I want it off on this note. So I'll click in the lower area. Watch my pencil here. If you click in the upper area, nothing will happen here. See? Nothing happens. If I click in the lower area, then it is okay turned off now i want it on from this note so okay i'll click in the upper area here on here i want it off on this note so off okay i'll keep it on and on the last note i keep it off okay now let's see how we have done here Just watch the flashlight. 
on off on off see so from here you can do the final tuning now if you have if you want to uh, delete uh, the portamento uh, effect or events you can do it here suppose you want to begin it again so just right click and click in the edit events and from here you can uh, select all all the changes will be selected here and then you can delete so now if you play you get a clear settings now if you want to uh, save all your the parameters which you are assigned on the media out plugin you just have to click this small arrow here and then click save channel state as you write your name okay, i'll write my name so in the browser you can see that that media out plugin has appeared here so next time when you uh, begin a new project you can load the media out plugin from here i'll show you okay suppose i delete this media out plugin and i want to load a new media out plugin i'll just load it from here and you can see that all the parameters are assigned even the port number uh, one thing i forgot to tell you is that uh, you all is that uh, you can uh, assign all the parameters on this uh, knobs and slider in the same way which i have shown you and when all this are occupied you can click this small arrow and go on page 2 and then assign some more parameters here so you can complete all the parameters here in the editorial orchestra section and then uh, it is up to you what you want to use with your uh, composition for me uh, character then panning reverb chorus portamento effect and vibrato i'll be uh, using all this thing you can uh, experiment on other parameters so i hope uh, i have made uh, everything clear in this tutorial and thank you for watching this tutorial